Hey everyone, my name is Digilex Knight, and today I'm bringing you a new type of video called Playing Gambit with God. The match starts out the same way every match of Gambit starts, with an enormous amount of shooting, teabagging, and emoting. Once the round starts, we kick it into gear by doing a full tilt sprint towards the ads. Once there, we waste no time slaughtering every enemy we see to grab those sweet, sweet moats. In our mad rush to grab as many moats as possible, one of my teammates ignores the safety and tries to solo the whole horde like he's some kind of MLG pro. Clearly, he is not, and dies losing six moats. After collecting enough moats to send in our invader, we rush back to deposit our moats before the opposing team can bank theirs. Sadly, one of them is able to bank, but we make quick work of the blocker, and I bank my moats and send in my teammate over to do his thing. Once Flash Recoil invades, he turns on his god mode and starts to do unspeakable things to the enemy team. The round progresses smoothly for us and we reach the amount needed to pull out our prime evil, but not before Flash Recoil invades and reminds the enemy team one more time who's boss. Once the prime evil arrives, we do what any prepared fire team would do and focus fire on the wizards first. But in my attempts to move to a new position, I get pre-fired on by the prime evil knight. Once our prime evil slayer hits a stack of three, we charge in on loading everything we possibly have on the prime evil and kill it before the enemy team has a chance to invade. We win first round. The next round standby phase begins like any other, except there's a fair amount of bragging on our side and blame placing happening on the other side. The second round starts when we waste no time in grabbing 25 modes for our good old friend God to go in and invade, promptly eliminating every guardian carrying modes, resetting the enemy team to zero, while we continue to grab and hoard modes like candy on Halloween night. We hear the drifter say we can summon a primeval and haul ass back to the bank and summon him before the enemy team can get themselves past 10 motes. While killing the wizards, the enemy sends over an invader and immediately casts Blade Barrage but hits no one. Clearly, no one taught this kid about timing. However, he sneaks around and blasts me with a sleeper simulant. He then tries to sneak around, but not before our random teammate avenges me and blasts him with a sleeper simulant. After killing all of the taken wizards and the enemy invading two more times, we proceed to turn our attention to the prime evil. First melting point him, and then melting his health bar quicker than the enemy team has time to call for hacks, thus having us win the game. After the game is over, Flash receives a message from one of the opposing team players saying God has entered the game, to which I send him a message saying, you have no idea what you've done to my friend's ego, it's blocking out the sun, it's so large now. The second game starts off really well with me banking a large blocker and then stealing heavy out from under everyone's nose. We then bank enough modes to activate an invasion portal and once again God goes in and starts to smite the lesser mortals. However, most of them are cowards at heart and hide until his 30 seconds are up. And sadly, just like last game, my teammate finds himself at the center of every ad's attention and they kill him, causing him to drop 10 motes. However, he redeems himself by banking 11 motes and allowing Flash to invade and smite the mortals who thought they could hide from him the first time. In the midst of our celebration, our random teammate decides it would be cool to go for 15 motes, but that dream is shattered when he bites off more than he can chew and dies losing 11 motes. After Flash returns from annihilating the entire team, we summon the primeval and immediately dispose of the wizards like the MLG team we are, and do some light damage until we see a slayer stack of 3. After seeing the slayer stack of 3, we charge in thirsty for the primeval's blood and do absolutely unspeakable things to him, killing him before the enemy team even invades us, winning us the round. Second round starts and we start off like we did in round one with sending a large blocker over followed by two small blockers, allowing Flash to invade. Once he invades, he wastes no time at all in punishing those foolish players who thought it was a good idea to hoard the moats until they hit 15. As he punishes the enemy team, we continue to grow our lead by banking another large blocker and move over to the next group of enemies. After he returns, I immediately bank enough moats to send him over again, however he decides that they've been through enough and prepares for the oncoming primeval. Just like before, after summoning the primeval, we kill the wizards and begin to stack our primeval slayer. In a rare turn of events, the enemy sends over an invader to halt our progress on the primeval. However, they must have forgotten that Flash can turn on god mode even when he's on our side and quickly disposes of him. We then proceed to slaughter the primeval and win the game. On to game 3, and would you believe it, we're up against the same team, but this reunion is short-lived once the opposing team realizes it and three of their members leave at the same time. 
followed by the fourth a little while after, causing us to win the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of showing off my friend's skill, and I'll see you all in the next video.